Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video, I just wanted to briefly discuss the differences between primary and secondary bowel salts. So, initially we start off with two primary bowel acids. Um, they are known as cholic acid and chenodeoxycholic acid. And they are synthesized in the hepatocytes of the liver from cholesterol. And then what happens is they are conjugated with uh, the amino acid, either glycine or taurine, before they're secreted into the bile, and then they thus form primary bile salts. Now, most of these bile salts are reabsorbed in the small intestine, and then they are recirculated back to the liver via enterohepatic circulation. However, not all of the bile salts will be reabsorbed. So what, what happens is they pass to the distal end of the ileum and the colon. Normally, uh, most of the bowel salts are reabsorbed in the ileum, but for some of them they'll pass to the distal end and they won't be absorbed. And here at the distal end and at the colon there's a higher amount of anaerobic bacteria and they enzymatically deconjugate and then remove the 7A hydroxy group from the primary bowel salts. And this forms a secondary bowel salts. And then what happens is these secondary bowel salts also go back to the enterohepatic circulation back to the liver. Now, one of them, one of the secondary bowel salts, which is called deoxycholate, and this one is formed from cholate, is easily and readily absorbed from the colon and it's re-excreted from the liver in its conjugated form. So that one's easily reabsorbed and re-excreted um, with a uh, sorry, with an amino acid added back onto it. The other one is known as lethocholate and it's formed from chenodeoxycholate and it's very poorly absorbed and only the small amount of the one which is absorbed is um, conjugated with an amino acid. So it's sulfated instead by the liver and then it's excreted in bile and it's just lost from the body as feces. And just a final note is that the secondary bile salts when they're deconjugated, they're more hydrophobic and toxic than the corresponding primary bile salts from which they are made from. So that's everything I want to discuss today on primary and secondary bile salts. I hope this video has been useful and thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.